Abby with Abby Knows Business, and I am about to bring you a new remote opportunity. This is a hot lead. If you are looking to work at home, if you don't have experience, if you don't have your bachelor's degree, um, you want to jump on this opportunity. So we're going to get right into the video. As always, I'm going to leave the link below where you can go directly to follow the instructions that I'll give you today. But if you've not done so before I give you this opportunity, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, because we want to get this information out to as many people as possible. We want to empower men, women, everyone who wants to work from home. So that is what we're all about. We want to empower you to get your work from home opportunity. So once you go to the website, you're not going to have to do this. The link's going to take you directly to the job section. That is what I have prepared for you in the description. So I'm scrolling to the bottom of the page and we're going to select the button that says careers. But again, the link that I'll leave below will take you directly to this careers page. And from there, you're going to look at open positions, open positions. And it's going to take you to this page here. And by the way, my friend, there are many open positions with this particular company, which is Care Centrics. Care Centrics. Many opportunities available, but we're going to look at a remote position. So you have all current location, remote, Hartford, Connecticut. We're looking for remote. And best of all, with this position, um, it does not specify a state. So wherever you are, you should be able to um, land a role with this particular company. So as you can see, when we did remote positions, there are two pages of remote positions. The first one, compliance administrator, clinical reviewer, you have two of those. You have a supervisor, operations UM government programs. So there's a software developer. That's not what we're looking for. We're going down. This is the position that we are going to, to look at, and it's called the healthcare customer service expert. And this, I want you to see that remote, 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 my friend, remote. We love it. And this is a new position. So again, you want to jump on it if you're interested. I'm not going to play the video. You can do that on your own. We're going to just look at the role a bit to give you some insights and some thoughts as you apply. So they're hiring for multiple positions with this particular company. And the start date is May the 8th. Someone has a typo. They have May the 8th. But this May the 8th is going to be the start date for this position. And here are the responsibilities. It says this job is for you if. You are passionate about healthcare and believe that one of the best ways to do that is by helping improve the quality and access to care in the home. Now, that's a whole lot there. So when you go on your interview, my friend, you need to have that already imprinted in your head. They've told you what they're looking for. Again, I give you insights because I don't want to just give you an announcement. I want you to get a job offer. So I'm sharing my 20 plus years of experience as a former hiring manager in the government and hiring manager for the, the private sector, government and corporate. So I'm here just to share this with you. That first line, it, it has a lot of weight, my friend. So I want you to think about this. It says you're passionate about healthcare. Believe that is one of the best ways to do that is by helping improve the quality and access and care in the home. So as you prepare for your interview, you want to keep that. That's a serious gem. You want to keep that in your mind for this particular employer. They're letting you know what they look, they're looking for. Also, if you enjoy working in a fast paced environment, ding, 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 ding. The alarm should be going off. Okay. I should be talking about, I enjoy fast paced environments. I want to improve the quality of care in the home. You have to be accurate with strong attention to detail. Now, that's interesting that they said that when there's a little typo there, but we're going to forgive them on that. 
because <laughs> we're all, you know, human and we can all make mistakes. So they want you to pay strong attention to detail, the ability to communicate professionally. We talk about that a lot. Many of these remote positions, in order for you to land a job offer, you have to master the art of being able to communicate your experience and let that employer know why they should take a chance on you. You have to have that ability to communicate um, professionally and it also says if you're fun to work with so they're looking for some I love that I don't know about you I gotta just like chat a little bit about this you are fun to work with we take our commitment to our patients seriously but we don't take ourselves seriously so they're looking for someone that's fun bubbly they want someone that has um, the ability to connect with customers warm, fuzzy. I'm throwing a lot out there for you. So they're not looking for a stiff person for this job. They're looking for a person that's going to be on that phone, that's going to make those personal connections. You're not going to treat people like a number, but you're genuinely concerned about helping others. So I just told you a lot. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I've given you a lot right there. This is free advice. I've not charged you a thing. Take this advice. I believe you can run with it and get a job offer. This is major. So they're just looking for someone that is um, is warm. Yes, you're a professional. We take what we do seriously, but we want someone that is going to be human, going to have a pulse, going to really connect with the customer. So they've said a lot. So again, that's a major gem. Like you should embrace everything that they said. This job is for you if, if you check all those boxes off as you're communicating with that employer that's going to make them confident that they've selected the right person so what qualifications do you need you need a high school diploma or a ged one year work in a customer service role again if you've worked in a retail space if you worked in a department store a restaurant it does not matter everything that we do my friend is customer service so yes you have one year's um, experience of customer service even if you've done volunteer maybe you're active in your church or whatever it is that you do that you're providing customer service good computer skills good communication and problem solving skills value accountability consistency and engagement through excellent attendance they're telling you everything that they're looking for my friend this is an amazing job this job i believe will suit anyone you could be um, just starting out maybe you're a stay-at-home mom a stay-at-home dad maybe you're retired and you need to supplement your income you need to apply for this job this is a major opportunity so the starting salary for external hires is $16.35 an hour plus you have the ability to get a monthly incentive bonus which is great so you're going to get $16.35 for just doing your job and then they're going to offer you a bonus for going the extra mile for making sure that you hit whatever those metrics are that they want you to hit and they will explain that to you in the training that occurs in May hello somebody I think I just helped a lot of you so it says the pay range included in the posting reflects the future growth and earnings potential. So the pay range. So they're saying that there's going to be opportunity for advancement. Again, I say this a lot in my videos. Don't sleep on a entry level position. I'm here to tell you years ago, I accepted an entry level position and I ended up being one of the head people within an agency. And I started off in customer service. So I, I love customer service. I know what I'm talking about. I know that these opportunities, if you approach it right, if you're serious about your work, if you work with a, a sense of excellency and urgency, you will be able to advance. It's not where you start, my friend, it's how you finish. So don't sleep on the entry level, getting your foot in the door. I've experienced many amazing things from, an int from entry level positions that took me to heights that I never thought a girl like me would be able to do. So this is amazing opportunity if you're looking for a position. I'm not getting anything for mentioning this to you. I don't work with this company. I'm just sharing my opinion 
on this position. I'm not receiving anything at all. So I want you to understand this is just my, my real advice, my real opinion about um, a job that will allow you to come in. And again, 1635, you're working from home, my friend. You're not paying money for gas. You're in your house. And many of you probably work in your bedroom or whatever you do. You're in your quiet space in your house. And that to me is like a major quality of life. Um, that's a level up right there in itself to be able to do that. I'm just, when I, when I start doing this, the fingers, I mean, when I start snapping the fingers, I'm telling you, I'm really feeling this opportunity for anyone that is looking to work from home. You don't have the education. You don't have the experience. Maybe you've been out of a job for some years or whatever. This is a great way to get back in the job market. I've given you a lot of things that you should think about that will help you to um, be an ideal candidate for for this particular company for them to take you seriously and then look at all the benefits here you have health dental vision you have hsa employer contributions you have dependent care Oh my goodness, this is so many things here. You have paid time off. You have a 401k savings plan, parental leave, and free on-demand virtual fitness training. So I, I like things like that when companies give you um, give you extra things there. So they're going to help you to stay fit because, by you know, we are working for a healthcare company. They want to make sure that you stay fit as well. So access to earn income between paychecks. Now, I have no idea what that means, but that sounds good to me. If anyone knows what that means, please leave a comment below. And advancement opportunities, professional skills training, tuition, re tuition reimbursement, my friend. So if I have someone that's here, you don't have your bachelor's degree, you don't have a master's degree, this is a good opportunity to start getting your education. If you have your bachelor's degree, this is a good opportunity to get your master's. So this, I like it. Now, here's the last thing it says. Great culture with a sense of community. I'm all about culture, my friend. I don't know about you, but I like being in environments where I feel like I'm a part of something big, where I know that I'm helping with the vision. So again, I want you to go ahead and jump on this. And also, if you've not received my free resource, it is the remote job blueprint it is free 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 so if you read the description there's a link to a video because i want you to watch the video first because i tell you exactly what i'm giving you and if it sounds like something that you want the link is there for you to grab it i don't want to give you something that's not going to value that does not offer value to you that's why i put a video together where you know a exactly exactly what it is but i hope that you enjoyed this video this was actually fun i had a lot of fun with this one today i want to know what happens tell me about the interview process let me know when you got your job offer all of that good stuff i'm just so so excited and i will talk you and talk to you in the next video thank you so much for your support and again if you've not subscribed what are you waiting for my friend go ahead and subscribe i'll talk to you later and oh here's another Another thing, oh my goodness, I almost forgot this job. The max is $20 an hour. So I tell you all the time, we don't go in. What, what are your expectations for salary? You're not saying $16 and 35 cents. You're not even saying $20. What are your expectations for salary? $25 an hour. You always want to go above so you can have some negotiation. You already know what their max is. Again, another gem I just dropped. You know, another gem I just gave you. So go ahead and like the video subscribe, leave a comment below and talk to you in the next video.